In the cabin, Steffi tells Brooke that her mother is bent on confessing to shooting Bill. She insists, we can't let her do this. She can't believe she is talking to Brooke about this. Brooke assures her she wouldn't do anything to hurt Taylor. Steffi says as crazy as it sounds, Brooke may be the only person who can get through to her mother now. In her beach house, an emotional Taylor rereads the confession she wrote. Taylor sniffs and vows to make this right. She looks into the mirror and asks, What happened to you, Doc? At Forrester, Thomas asks Hope to trust his talent to take Hope for the future to new heights. They go over Eric and Zind, not having the same connection to the collection as Thomas. He and Hope are a team. Thomas pleads, bring me back onto the line. He realizes she still has reservations and recaps that he let her down. She adds, not just me, your son, your family. Thomas was trying to give his mother the life she always wanted. Hope informs him it completely destroyed the progress he was making with her, the family, and most importantly, his son. Thomas has thought about that every day since and has been working through his issues. He's put his energy into things that are beautiful and created the designs. Let me show you the work I've been doing. He's not just bad and wants to know she still has faith in him. Hope says he's made it very clear what he wants. She's thought about it and what it could mean for them. Douglas and the line, so it's only fair to tell him how she feels about him. In the cabin, Brooke tells Steffi her mother trusts her and she can too. Steffi worries that nothing she said to Taylor has made any difference. She has this situation all wrong. Why won't she let this go? Steffi admits she's scared. Brooke rubs her arm to comfort Steffi as she recaps that Taylor shot Bill thinking she was protecting her. Now it's my turn to protect her. She knows Bill will keep Sheila out of jail and Taylor will only be hurting herself if she turns herself in. Brooke will go to the beach house and do everything in her power to save Taylor from herself. Steffi nods and tears up. At the beach house, Taylor flashes through her conversations with Steffi and mutters, I refuse to be a burden to you anymore. She writes in her journal that she has to end it all. Now. She picks up a bottle of pills and dumps a few into her hand. Putting one in her mouth, she swallows it with water. At Forrester, Hope tells Thomas he believes he just wants to help himself. In a moment of panic, she thought she might need him, but his sister pulled her back from the brink. Her line is founded on integrity. She can't throw that out the window. Thomas argues that she's all about second chances and seeing the best in people. Hope says he has to see that they're done. I've learned my lesson, Thomas. I can't give you the benefit of the doubt anymore. After nightfall, Finn calls out to Steffi in the cliff house. She kisses him and he asks what's wrong. Steffi says it's her mom, who is pulling away from her and everyone. Finn learns she brought up confessing again. Steffi worries that she's talking about herself like she's a burden. She explains Brooks on her way to the beach house now. She's just as worried as they are. At the beach house, Brooke knocks and looks in the windows. No one answers, and she realizes the door is unlocked. This irritates her since Sheila's on the loose. She walks in, muttering, Taylor, you really need to keep the door locked. Just then, she notices Taylor's note in her journal sitting on the coffee table. At Forrester, Hope informs Thomas that Hope for the future will eventually be fine without him. He asks if she wants it to be fine and argues she didn't feel this way the other day. Hope's judgment was clouded. She warns he has so many bridges to rebuild. Thomas wanted to call and talk to Douglas, but didn't know what she'd say. Hope concedes they need to have a difficult conversation about his future. Thomas asks, tell me what you want me to do. Hope replies, I want you to leave, please. He turns and walks out. At the cliff house, Finn finds it weird that Brooke is reaching out to Taylor. Steffi says they're friends now. She has an awful feeling and can't shake it. I pray that Brooke's able to get through to her. At the beach house, Brooke reads Taylor's note. She wonders, what are you doing, Taylor? Suddenly, she notices the bottle of pills and freaks out. She rushes into the bedroom, where Taylor's unconscious on the bed. Brooke screams, Taylor? Taylor. 